let's look to the word of god revelation chapter 11 and 12 the last uh, time we looked into chapter 11 two witnesses and uh, uh, for getting the uh, where we are so i'm going to read uh, chapter 11 verse 15 and then following then the seventh angel sounded and there were loud voices in heaven saying the kingdom of the lord the the kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our lord and his christ and he will reign forever and ever and the 24 elders who sit on their thrones before god fell on their faces and worshiped god saying we give you thanks o lord god the almighty who are and who were because you have taken your great power and have begun to reign and the nations were enraged and your wrath came and the time came for the dead to be judged and the time to reward your bond servants the prophets and the saints and those who fear your name the small and the great and to destroy those who destroy the earth and the temple of god which is in heaven was opened and the ark of his covenant appeared in his temple and the peals of thunder and earthquake and a great um hailstorm a great sign appeared in heaven a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and on her head a crown of 12 stars and she was with child and she cried out begin in labor and in pain to give birth then another sign appeared in heaven and behold a great red drag- dragon having seven heads and 10 horns and on his heads were seven diadems and his tail swept away a third of the stars of heaven and threw them to the earth and the dragon stood before the woman who was about to give birth so that when she gave birth the um he might devour the her child and uh, she gave birth to a son a male child who is to rule all the nations with a rod of iron and her child was caught up to god and to his throne then the woman fled into the wilderness where she had a place prepared for by god so that um there she would be nourished for 1260 days may the lord help us to understand his word chapter 11 11 um verse 15 we read that the seventh the angel sounded um and there were loud voices in heaven and so forth uh, we remember in chapter 8 when the i think in chapter 8 when the uh, seventh seal was broken there was silence in heaven for half an hour but here when the seventh uh, angel sounded the trumpet sounded and uh, there were loud voices in heaven um and they were saying something so in in heavenly realm all the uh, beings there are they were so jubilant they were happy they were joyful and they were telling the kingdom of the world the world has become the kingdom of our lord and his christ 
and he will reign forever and ever until now the kingdom of this world was given he it was under the authority of satan or and now the ta- the time came our lord jesus christ is going to take the reign the uh, of the uh, the world and he is going to reign as king king of kings and lord of lords that's what it says that is why the heavenly beings are uh, are jubilant or uh, joyful and they were shouting with uh, uh, these uh, voices and they are telling um and then we see that uh, uh, they gave uh, gave thanks and uh, all the 24 elders every everywhere everybody in the uh heaven uh they were giving thanks and uh, they were joyful and uh, uh, we uh, read that we gave you thanks oh lord god the almighty who are and who were because you have taken your great power and have begun to reign our lord is getting his uh, kingdom and he is going to reign rule in this world um uh, as uh, uh, king of kings and lord of lords that is what uh, we re- read there and uh, then uh, when we read uh, it says your wrath came and the time came for the dead be judged and the time to reward your bond servants the prophets and the saints and those who fear your name the small and the great and to destroy those who destroy the earth so this is a wonderful time in heaven and it is there this even though this chapter 11 and 12 um uh in in between uh the uh, the book this chapter comes almost to the end of tribulation where our lord is going to come into the earth so and the seventh angel sounded his trumpet and when the great symphony of voices began to proclaim uh, the triumph of jesus christ and uh, we uh, we looked at the seventh the seal was when the seventh seal was broken there was silence in heaven for the space of half an hour so revelation chapter 8 verse 1 we read that when the seventh trumpet is blown there is great uh, joy in heaven uh, in anticipation of the uh, termination of the evil there, there there will there won't be any evil our lord is going to take the reign the rule of the kingdoms of the earth um, so we can see the end is near god has allowed sa- satan to control the kingdoms of the world now they are about to become the kingdoms of the lord that is why uh, the heavenly beings are happy uh, that is why the heavenly beings are worshiping our lord jesus christ eramate doodan oodiyapol സ്വർഗത്തിൽ വളരെ സന്തോഷമുണ്ടായി കാരണം നമ്മുടെ കർത്താവ് ഈ ലോകത്തിൻ്റെ ഭരണം പിടിച്ചെടുക്കുവാനായിട്ട് പോകുന്നു ഇതുവരെയും ലോകത്തിൽ സാത്താൻ്റെ അധീനതയിൽ ലോകരാഷ്ട്രങ്ങളൊക്കെയും ആയിരുന്നപ്പോൾ നമ്മുടെ കർത്താവ് അവൻ്റെ നീതിയുള്ള രാജ്യം സ്ഥാപിക്കുവാനായിട്ട് അവൻ വരുന്നു ആ കാര്യമാണ് ഇവിടെ സ്വർഗത്തിലെ ദൂതന്മാരും മൂപ്പന്മാരും ഒക്കെ അവിടെ ആർത്ത് ഉല്ലസിക്കുവാനായിട്ട് അവർക്കുണ്ടായ കാരണം ആൻഡ് ദെൻ വേഴ്സ് എയ്റ്റീൻ ഇൻ വേഴ്സ് എയ്റ്റീൻ വി റീഡ് ദാറ്റ് ആൻഡ് നേഷൻസ് വെർ എൻറേജ്ഡ് ആൻഡ് യുവർ റാത്ത് കെയിം and the time came for the dead to be judged and the time 
to reward your bond servants the prophets and the saints and those who fear your name we read that the anger of the nations because our lord is going to take their rule and he is going to rule in righteousness uh, so the nations became angry we we know that man is a rebel against god to the very end man's wrath reaches the the uh oh we could say the crescendo just prior to the lord's return amra karthavinte varavinu munbe loka rashtrangalde avarude anger avarude kobam adinte parama godil ayirikunnu namukku manasilakkuvanayittu kazhi nam randa sangirthanathil okke adu vaaikkunnund man's rebellion will be brought to an end when the lord returns ഡിസ്ട്രോയ് <laughs> and uh, he is going to uh, judge that is what we read here <clears throat> we know that um, this um uh, includes both men and satan because satan is ruling in this world and uh, men uh, and the men the evil men with him and uh, both he is going to stop their reign their rule and uh, uh, he is going to bring a, uh, his righteous kingdom uh, satan's two key instruments during the tribulations are the beast and the false prophet that we will we will see uh, uh, in the other chapters their judgment uh, comes when christ returns to the earth at the end of the tribulation they both were cast alive into the lake of fire burning with the fire and brimstone we see that in chapter 19 we will we will learn those things when we come to chapter 19 then satan himself is bound for a thousand years and uh, he will be put uh, cast into the bottomless pit we know that satane bendhiche ആയിരം ആണ്ട് ആണ്ടേക്ക് ബന്ധിച്ച് അവനെ അഗാധ രൂപത്തിൽ ഇട്ട് കളയും അത് നാം ഇരുപതാം അധ്യായത്തിൽ അത് വായിക്കുന്നു കർത്താവായ യേശു ക്രിസ്തുവിന്റെ ആയിരം ആണ്ട് വാഴ്ചയ്ക്ക് ശേഷം ആഫ്റ്റർ ദ മിലനിയൽ റെയിൻ സൈറ്റൻ ഈസ് റിലീസ്ഡ് ഫോർ എ ലിറ്റിൽ ടൈം ഹി മേക്സ് ഹിസ് ഫൈനൽ അസാൾട്ട് അഗൻസ്റ്റ് ഗോഡ് ആൻഡ് ഇസ് ക്രഷ്ഡ് ആൻഡ് കാസ്റ്റ് ഇൻ ടു ദി ലൈക്ക് ഓഫ് ഫയർ uh we know that uh in revelation 20 we read all those things <clears throat> and then in the verse 19 we see that uh apostle john sees a, a blessed um vision that and the temple of god is in heaven was opened we all know that uh there was a temple in this world in the in the world earth it was the tabernacle and then uh, solomon built the temple and then that was destroyed and uh, in our lord's day uh, you know there was another temple and uh, it was uh, rebuilt and re- uh, renovated and all but we know that that temple also was destroyed by the romans uh, after the death of our lord jesus christ ad 70 we know that but these temples who which were in this uh, uh, earth was uh, just the shadow or no the sample of it's a, um it is it is the what do you call it it's a uh, 
Uh, what, what is that? Tell me. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a miniature because uh, in in the in the in the heavenly places there is the that is where the real tabernacle is, and then when the Lord uh, showed Moses in the mountain, he showed the pattern, and he told him, "Make as you as I showed you," because the original temple is in heaven. The Lord, Lord God showed Moses to the, the pattern of that uh, temple. And he asked, you make uh, whatever you saw in the vision or he showed. And that is how they ma made it. All the, inst all the, uh, all the uh, instruments or whatever they were using for everything according to the, according he has uh, seen in the mountain. But we know that our Lord Jesus Christ, we know all the um, high priest, uh, uh, every year he goes with the blood of the, the uh, bullocks and the, uh, and the lamb and go into the um, holy of holy. And he, he does his uh, service there. But our Lord Jesus Christ, after he was... Uh, dead and he went into the real holy of holy. He entered into the holy of holy and he is uh, there for us he is, uh, as a high priest. Uh, uh, he is there still. He is living. And then here is uh, Apostle sees that the temple of God which is in heaven, that is the real one, was opened. And the ark of his covenant appeared in his temple and there were flashes of lightning and sounds and peals of thunder and earthquake and the uh, great hailstorm. We know that they, you know, the people uh, are looking for the ark of the covenant which was made uh, uh, by Moses and uh, it's uh, with a gold and all you know that you know that those things uh, now it is missing we don't know where it is and people are saying so many things it is uh, they uh, they say it's in uh, ethiopia they found it uh, they say it's uh, uh, under the um, uh, holy of holy and uh, under the where they destroyed the temple and it is there and uh, some other uh, uh, Archaeologist says uh, it is under Calvary because uh, uh, when our Lord Jesus Christ uh, was on the cross, uh, uh, earthquake came and his blood even came into the mercy seat. Until then, all the uh, blood of the uh, animals were sprinkled there. But during his uh, crucifixion, his blood came and uh, it was sprinkled on the, uh, it was came to the mercy seat and all. You know, there are so many people saying that. You can read uh, in, uh, uh, you can look in the internet and all. You know, there is a, um, uh, there is different sites you can go in and you can read all those things. And one person claimed that he saw the ark and uh, uh, he came back and he, even took blood out of that uh, um, uh, <laughs> that golden uh, plate, and he took it to Israel's uh, um, the highest uh, uh, authority, and went to uh, to a hospital and checked the uh, blood. And uh, we can read all those things, and he, he found out that uh, there is only thirty three crumbs on on because. Um, uh, it's uh, um, our Lord's blood. You know, he says that, you know, we, we do not have to believe all those things, but it is as if uh, it was real happened, it is written there. Anyway, the real tabernacle is in heaven and our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, with his blood, he went in there and he is sitting at the right hand of the Father. He's interceding for us. That is where our high priest is there 
So he is there always, always uh, is uh, interceding for us. That is our high priest uh, uh, living there. And uh, um, let's look at chapter 12. Chapter, chapter 12, it's a very interesting chap uh, chapter. So we see a great sign appeared in heaven. A woman clothed with the, the sun and the moon under her feet and on her head, a crown of 12 stars. And that also, you know, it's when you when you go in, if you go into the internet, they were, they were telling, you know, this, uh, uh, they even dated, you know, this, uh, the planet and all this come as, you know, it's, don't go and read those things. This is all, uh, you know, some people believe that, you know, it's uh, when they, uh, when I mean, it's already, I think it's, uh, it's past that the sun, moon and all the planetarial uh, came to, to us, uh, uh, but that, that, you know, he said that that time this is all fulfilled and all they are, they were so happy and, you know, they were preaching and all those things, but uh, don't believe uh, those things. This sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and on her head, a crown of 12 stars. If you want to interpret uh, this thing, you have to interpret with the, uh, in, in, the, in the Bible, the Bible uh, uh, shows that um, in uh, Joseph's time, you know that Joseph saw a dream and Joseph said uh, to his father, the sun and the moon and the 11 stars came and worshipped me. So, and uh, uh, his father understood what he is telling, but uh, you know all, all. But he he kept it in his mind. We read that, but uh, um, his brothers or nobody believed him. But it happened when Joseph was uh, in Pharaoh's court. These people came and worshipped him three times. Uh, uh, so that was his dream. So here the same way. There is a, a woman with uh, this uh, sun, moon, and 12 stars with the, the crown. This is the national Israel. This is, this is the Israel because that is in Genesis it start. You know, it's a, uh, it's a Israeli, Israelite people. They are the one who... Uh, worshipped Joseph, but here it says that uh, a crown of 12 stars and she was with the child. So this is uh, Israel, Israel and, uh, and she was with child and we see that the child is the one who rules with the rod of iron. So that is our Lord Jesus Christ, we know that. So Israel, he, she brought for the Messiah, our Lord Jesus Christ. That is the two things we can uh, uh, read from here. We can understand that. Surine Tharicha or Surye Kurcha Oda Kanunu, a Suri Kevere Kunya Undagavarita Pogdu, a Kunjene Nasipikino and Wendy, our day, where are you? Munavate Allah out of Kanan, a great red dragon. Chuana dragon. What is it? I don't have the, oh, I have the Malaya, I have the Mahasarpam. That's a red Chuan the Mahasarpam out of Kanan. He is three day Kunja on Dagam Bola, the name Nasipiko and I. Mahasarpam, Noki, Aude, Iriki, and other Namala, Vulipadu Sum, Pandranda Mathiatel, Karnal. Let's read that. Let me read that in Malayalam. Sorgatil Valure, Adeal and Karnai, Surne and in your history. Our the Kalki Chandranum, our the Taril Pandra and Shatrangandula, Kiridum, Undairno. 
അവൾ ഗർഭിണിയായി നോവ് കിട്ടി വേദനപ്പെട്ട് നിലവിളിച്ചു അപ്പോൾ സ്വർഗത്തിൽ മറ്റൊരടയാളം കാണായി കാണായി ഏഴ് തലയും പത്ത് കൊമ്പും തലയിൽ ഏഴ് രാജമുടിയുമായി തീ നിറമുള്ള ഒരു മഹാസർപ്പം അതിന്റെ വാൽ ആകാശത്തിലെ നക്ഷത്രങ്ങളിൽ മൂന്നിലൊന്ന് വലിച്ചു കൂട്ടി ഭൂമിയിലേക്ക് എറിഞ്ഞു കളഞ്ഞു പ്രസവിപ്പാറായ സ്ത്രീ പ്രസവിച്ച ഉടനെ കുട്ടിയെ തിന്നുകളവാൻ മഹാസർപ്പം അവളുടെ മുമ്പിൽ നിന്നു അവൾ സകല ജാതികളെ ഇരുമ്പ് കോകൊണ്ട് മേയ്പ്പാനുള്ള ആൺകുട്ടിയെ പ്രസവിച്ചു കുട്ടി ദൈവത്തിന്റെ അടുക്കിലേക്കും അവന്റെ സിംഹാസനത്തിലേക്കും പെട്ടെന്ന് എടുക്കപ്പെട്ടു സ്ത്രീ മരുഭൂമിയിലേക്ക് ഓടിപ്പോയി അവിടെ അവളെ ആയിരത്തി ഇരുന്നൂറ്റി അറുപത് ദിവസം പോറ്റേണ്ടതെന്ന് ദൈവം ഒരുക്കിയ ഒരു സ്ഥലം അവൾക്കുണ്ട് ഇവിടെ ഹിയർ വി സി ദാറ്റ് ദിസ് വുമൻ വിത്ത് ദ ചൈൽഡ് ആൻഡ് ദ ഗ്രേറ്റ് ഡ്രാഗൺ വാണ്ട് ടു കിൽ ദിസ് ദിസ് ചൈൽഡ് The, the second sign appeared in heaven. It was a great red dragon with seven crowned heads and ten horns. Its tail drew up one third of the stars behind it and cast them into the earth. It stood before the woman, ready to devour the child she would bear. The dragon can easily be identified. So in Revelation 12.9, it, it is in red color. Uh, this undoubtedly emphasizes the blood that he has spilled um, and the number of his heads uh, identifies with uh, the revived roman empire in a v- revelation 12 for we see that uh, uh, this uh, uh, dragon um, and the tail swept away the third of the stars of heaven and threw them into the earth this is the old dragon uh, we have we have uh, uh, we know the uh, the name of this uh, the satan uh, he has several names given it um, in isaiah 14 we read that uh, he was he rebelled against uh, god and uh, um, he was uh, uh from the, from uh, uh, from the heaven he was uh uh, uh they they send him uh, down to the yeah so in, if you read isaiah 14 12 uh, we we see that um, I, uh, uh he the satan he was a um angel we know that and here here we see that he uh, rebelled against god and he said um, five times i will i will i will he said i will ascend into heaven i will exalt uh, my throne above the angels of god i will sit up the mountain of congregation i will ascend above the clouds and i will be like the most high and you know it's a with of with his pride he rebelled against god and we know that what happened uh at him uh, uh we uh, we 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 see that he is the great satan um the, the next thing we are told is that the dragon just took before uh, stood before the woman to devour the child she would deliver satan has a special hatred uh for the woman and the child we we know when we um uh look from the beginning satan was um always against bringing up the messiah uh we we have several uh, it's a good study if you look and study what what happened that's we we see the the what do you call it the the conflict of the ages something like that uh, oh, uh, anybody uh, uh, remember that you know from the beginning satan uh, wanted lord jesus christ should not come so he um, it started in eden so 
there was enmity between the seed of woman and the seed of the serpent. We know that. The woman's seed will bruise the head of the serpent and it will bruise the heel of the Lord. We, we, uh, he bruised uh, at Calvary. We know, we know that. Uh, he, uh, and then the, if you review the Old Testament, it shows Satan was busy seeking to destroy the royal seed. Uh, the Egyptian mid midwives were, we know that when the uh, uh, Egyptian pharaoh told the midwives, in, uh, they were instructed to kill all the male child. Uh, and then uh, uh, if that's a uh, girl, then uh, she, uh, she shall live. So we, uh, we know that it, it didn't work. Uh, God gave the uh, midwives God bless them so that all the uh, male children were born. And then uh, uh, the Satan, uh, you know, Saul tried to kill David several times. Um, when the evil spirit come into Saul, when he was, um, uh, he was playing music, Several times Saul wanted to kill him because we know that Satan know this is the seed, this is the line. So he tried to kill all, all, all this, uh, uh, the line of that seed. But, uh, and when our Lord Jesus Christ born, you know, we know that Herod wanted to kill uh, uh, all, all the uh, or the male child, male children, two years and under, you know, those, those things. And, uh, and several, several times. And when our Lord Jesus Christ was in this world, uh, Satan tried to destroy him several times to kill him. Um, but finally, you know, when he went into the cross, the Satan said, oh, this is it. He is no more. Uh, but on the third day, he rose victoriously and uh, uh, is living for us. We, we all know that this conflict is still going on. But, um, so this, this is what happens uh, in uh, even here also when we read that um, uh, this uh, dragon, the dragon wanted to kill the, uh, the male child and then but God uh, caught up uh, uh, into his throne. Then the woman fled into the wilderness. We, we, we see that he wanted to kill the woman or Israel, the nation of Israel. And we can look and you know, the, it was, they, there was satanic conflict everywhere when we look at the um, uh, history of Israel, Israelite people, even uh, uh, we uh, we know that this uh, uh, in Second World War uh, who was it? Hitler killed uh, six hundred thousand Jew, uh, Jewish people, six six million, yeah, six six million people, yeah, and every everywhere, even in Russia, it happened. You know, they uh, he wanted to kill all the. Uh, Jewish people. And here, here also it says that um, uh, when she gave birth to a son, a maid child, who is to rule all the nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up to heaven, then verse 6, then the woman fled into the wilderness where she had a place prepared by God, so that there she would be nourished for three and a half years. And uh, uh, and and uh, earlier we, we we see that the dragon tried to kill uh, that woman. So that conflict is still going on. And uh, uh, verse seven, there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels waging war with the dragon, and the dragon and his angels. Uh, waged war, and they were not strong enough, and they was 
there was no longer a place found for them in heaven. That is uh, verse 7, we read that. Still, Satan has access to, even we are talking about now, Satan has access to heaven, even. That is why he is uh, called uh, the accuser of the brethren. He can, he is there always to accuse us uh, in front of God. We, we, uh, we know that uh, uh, in the history of Job, uh, he goes and uh, uh, accuses. Sometimes it is not ac accusation, sometimes it may, may be re uh, real. Um, uh, he goes and uh, accuses, uh, say accuses about us. But here it says that there was war in heaven. Michael came and uh, they, they fought and the dragon was cast uh, from heaven to the uh, earth. Um, they were not strong enough and there was no longer a place found for them in heaven. And a great dragon was thrown down, the serpent of old who is called the devil and Satan who deceives the whole world. He was thrown down to the earth and the angels were thrown down with him and his angels were thrown down with him. And I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, now the salvation and power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come and the accuser of the brethren has been thrown down. Uh, he who uh, accuses them before God day and night and they overcame him because of the blood of the lamb and because of the word of, word of their testimony and they did not love their life even when faced with death. For this re reason rejoice, O heavens, and uh, you who dwell in them, woe to the earth and the sea, because the devil has come down to you having great wrath, knowing that uh, he has only a short time. So Satan was um, uh, uh, near future, Satan uh, will be thrown out of the heaven, heavenly place. He cannot go in heaven. So Michael and his angels, good angels, fought with the uh, Satan and uh, his evil angels, and uh, he was cast away from the um, uh, heaven, heavenly places. That is why, when in the in the midst of the tribulation, uh, he comes into the uh, world and uh, it, it is written here that the devil has come down to you having great, great wrath knowing that he has only a short time. So even with the Christians before the rapture now the church he, he make all kinds of uh, um, uh, problems with the church but we know that uh, uh, he is a, he, he cannot, you know, the Satan cannot overcome us. That is why uh, we are told, you know, fought, uh, we have to wear the armor of God and uh, he will flee from us. Uh, that is what happening now. And he is, uh, uh, he is happy to uh, um, destroy us or, um, uh, നമുക്ക്ാനായിട്ട് അവന് ഒരിക്കലും കഴിയില്ല എന്നാൽ നമ്മെ എപ്പോഴും നമ്മോട് എപ്പോഴും അവന് പോരാട്ടമുണ്ട് എന്നുള്ളത് നമുക്കറിയാനായിട്ട് കഴിയും അതാണ് പറയുന്നത് നമുക്ക് പോരാട്ടമുള്ളത് ജനരക്തങ്ങളോടല്ല നമുക്ക് പോരാട്ടമുള്ളത് അന്ധകാര ശക്തി ശക്തിയിൽ സാത്താനോടാണെന്ന് അവിടെ വ്യക്തമായിട്ട് പറയുന്നുണ്ട് സോ വി ലുക്ക് ടു Verse um, up to 12. 12 
12, chapter 12, uh, verse 12. Uh, say now Satan has no access to heaven. He is cast out from there and now his, when this is, we are talking about the, during the time of the tribulation, with great fury he come to the earth and he is going to, that is why we, uh, uh, the great tribulation is uh, the, travel, Jacob's trouble, we read that. It's not for the church. It is for the Israelite people. When uh, he comes into uh, this earth with great fury, so he is going to uh, try to destroy the uh, uh, the Jewish people, the, the people of Israel, and the people of God, if someone uh, believe in Lord Jesus Christ, and you know, the, the, he is going to destroy all of them. That is what, that is the conflict uh, uh, we read here, and uh, during the tribulation, uh, we see all these things happens. So, and then um verse uh, 13 always onwards we will re we will see next time so we see uh, a great sign a, a woman a dragon and then we see the uh, uh, male child and then uh, we see the michael the angel um oh, oh, waging war with the dragon and uh, cast him out of uh, heaven. So that is the uh, mid, middle, mid of the tribulation that happens. And uh, um, he is, uh, uh, that is how all this uh, uh, Maha Mahabhadra, the great tribulation it says, uh, that is what happens during that tribulation and time. Satan is working why he's working, he, he knows that he does not have, he has only a small time. He knows, he knows the story because he read, he hear the preaching of Revelation because uh, uh, um, he know what is his uh, end. He will be cast into the lake of fire. So he knows that, he knows he's only a little, little time. So that's why he, he is uh, uh, working very furiously during that time. So let's look into the Lord.